My lovely family, good morning to you and welcome to God's Love You channel. If it is your first time of coming across this wonderful platform and you like what we are doing, kindly subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notifications. This will enable you to know when we upload a new video. Here we react to all forms of videos, local, international, especially what is happening in Nigeria. Now, I want us to pay close attention to what our beautiful sister is saying. Like I always say, it doesn't matter where the truth is coming from. Your enemy can also say the truth. So I just want you to listen. Some people will say, this person that is not supporting prime minister. Well, one thing you should know in this world is that it's not everybody that will like you. Not everybody. But if you have majority that loves you, then carry on. But that doesn't mean that when they are speaking the truth, you will not bring it or listen to them. Me, I listen to everything, especially when it's the truth. So let's uh, listen to what our sister is saying, how she... Just sit down. I am here with you. Let's listen together. Thank you. Bring your money down to Southeast. Southeast is safe. I repeat, Southeast is safe. Invest heavily in Southeast. Southeast is safe and calm. All these insecurities you are hearing in Southeast, all these things you are hearing them talking about Southeast in a wrong way, insecurity everywhere, all of them are pure propaganda. They are looking for a way to make southeastern part of Nigeria to look like a Boko Haram terrain. They want to paint a picture that southeast is a place where nobody should go and invest. They are painting a picture and pushing a wrong narrative about southeastern part of Nigeria, making people to be running away from that place. It is pure lies and all propaganda. Southeast is not Boko Haram terrain. Southeastern part of Nigeria is the safest place to invest. Bring your dollars. Bring your pounds, bring your naira, bring all your money, bring your billions and billions of naira. We have able men and women in the southeastern part of Nigeria that are willing and ready to make that your factory and industry, to make it look like one, to make it the best factory and industry you can think of in the whole world. Bring your money, bring your money. Don't allow their propaganda to push you away from the safest region or the safest place in Nigeria. Southeast is safe and calm. I repeat, Southeast is safe and calm. All the things you are hearing are all lies. Invest in Southeast and you will never regret that you did. Thank you for joining me today. I thank each and every one of you for joining me this moment. I am talking about investing in Southeast. The five states we have in the Southeastern part of Nigeria, which consists of Anambara, Enugu states, Abia states, Imo states, and Ebony State. There is a deliberate move for people to stop investing in Southeast with the claim that there is high insecurity in Southeast. Why will you go to a region? Why will you go to a zone or a place where there is high rate of insecurity? How will you go and invest in a place where uh, a non government uh, cannot allow you to put your goods or put your business or uh, cite your business? Now, this is why I am here to tell the general public that the place they say is an inhabitable place is actually a habitable place. One of the safest places you, you have in Nigeria at the moment. There was a time Kubana chief priests told the people, he granted interview that he's no longer living in Southeast. I hope I'm correct. This guy moved from Southeast to Lagos saying that because of a non-gunman or non-gunman or non-gun woman, he can no longer stay in the east. And he now moved to um, southwest. That place he moved to is even a place where they are, they, they, they are currently experiencing insecurity. Ibu Pumadonu is the order of the day. Moving on the streets, moving on the streets, you will see yourself moving with your head, your hand and your leg complete. All of a sudden, you will hear something that do eat them, eat them, or would that what? Your head have been dismembered from your body, and you will now be seeing your head on the floor. You are moving in southwest. The southwest, they say, is safe. You will be moving in southwest with your full body complete. The full body, your full body is complete. You will hear or see that your head is no longer in your body. Your head is now rolling on the floor. 
what is, what do I mean? Some people in the southwest, they are now cutting people head. They are selling people skull. They are selling people intestine. They are selling people kidney. They are selling people liver. They are selling people hand, people leg, and people eye, even nose. This is the same people saying that Southeast is not safe. And I ask them, this cutting of people head, is it happening in Southeast? Why are they pushing this narrative? Why are they painting Southeastern part of Nigeria bad? And we say no to this. We say no to this. If you have money, the safe place now to invest that your money is Southeast. Don't say that I did not tell you. Don't say I did not warn you. Ask around. The insecurity they are preaching, the insecurity they are preaching on social media is not what is happening on ground. Southeast is actually like an um, ice block, ice fridge, very calm. But because they have scared people away from that place, it now looks like a deserted region, a deserted place. And in case you don't know, there is a reason why Ho Oposodema was planted in Imo State. Ho Oposodema was planted in Imo State to do the bidding of Fulani Caliphate in Abuja. This is what I want you to know. Do you look at Ho Oposodema like somebody that is worried about the insecurity? And why is it that the headquarters of insecurity, according to their claim, is in Imo State? Ho Oposodema will be going about his thing. He moved with Amod Tank. Armored tankers. He is not bothered about the pockets of um, insecurities that might be happening in South, in Imo states. Who opposed on them is not bothered. Why are they not talking about that same insecurity in Abia states? When they see that Alex Soti have started working, they now start looking for a way to bring their unknown gunman and un unknown god woman. All these things have political undertone. It is highly political. It is pure propaganda. Looking for a way to discredit Southeast. We know we have useless leaders in Southeast. Aside um, Alex Soti, that is working. We know that we have useless governors, useless senators. I am saying it and I believe everybody is hearing me. We have useless senators in the Southeast. We have useless House of Reps members. We have hopeless governors. If you look at them, you will see a pure puppet. You will see a slave looking at you. These are people that hardly defend their, their region or their people. You see the way they look so timid. You look at them. These are people that claim they are lawmakers. You can't see them. You cannot see them stand for what is right for once. I want to ask you that is watching me from Southeast. If Ojuku was young, very young now, this way that our lawmakers look so I don't know whether I will say that they look like woman and Aruaka somewhere. I don't know if I should use that word. Look at how they look so timid. So um, 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 very, very vulnerable. They are vulnerable. They look like people that are hypnotized by what I don't know. Maybe by Fulani Koku and Fura they look, They look like people that are not ready to serve. These lawmakers that I'm talking about in the Southeast... Now waiting Abuja talk. Now waiting full and equally fair to talk. Now so then they do. Now waiting then they do. These governors and senators and House of Reps members are so useless that I wish to replace them with Efibo. You see Efi? Efibo. Iwo Kao is more better than this House of Reps member and senators. Even what happened in Dundi. They are discrediting your region every day. Saying insecurity. Every day insecurity is like, which is security? Where is the insecurity? Have you heard them speak? Do you see them talking? That is why I said, Oh, Ariba and Arufaka. I want to say, I want to say, I want to say, when the men now behave like women, what do you expect me, woman, to do? When a governor that said he's a man, a senator, a House of Reps member, that claimed he is a man when he start behaving like a woman. Ogo, vegetable. When he start behaving like a woman, what do you expect me, a woman, to do? I will insult them. Because if I am in their shoes, this rubbish will not happen. Every day they will be saying, there is insecurity. Don't invest. Have you seen these governors come out to say, there is no insecurity in Southeast. And even if there is insecurity, we say releasing them, they cannot. They will fight to the nail. They will fight to the nail. They will say, if you don't want Southeast to be safe, I resign from becoming a governor. 
I resign from becoming the governor of Anambra State. I no longer want to be the governor of Imo, Imo State or Enugu State. Ebony State, they will resign. But because these people, all they care is what Fulani say We report back from Fulani to uh, uh, Southeast. They say release the Namdi Kanu. Since you people claim that there is, south, there is insecurity in Southeast, I oh, yeah, release the Namdi Kanu that the people that are doing insecurity, the people that are displacing people in the Southeast, release him. Now let us see what will happen next. And you want Southeast to be safe, and you cannot release the person that will bring safety in Southeast, and you say that you are normal. And you said these people are not puppets. I am not interested in all those things. You said all those things. We will replace you people with Nama. You see all you governors. You governors from the southeastern part of Nigeria, House of Reps and Senators. I can replace you with Okoba. None of you deserve to serve anybody. Look at you. You are throw here. You are a chicken. You are throw. You are throw. You don't deserve to serve human beings. You should be serving pigs and not humans. Every day, insecurity, insecurity. Southeast have insecurity. Don't invest in Southeast. And all those useless governors will keep quiet. All those, all those imbeciles that call themselves governors, they will not say, you, you, you have insecurity. Southeastern part of Nigeria is supposed to be a commercial place. This is where we have business people. This is where we have um, billionaires that build factories and industries. Iyaneme. You will see people go, going to Southeast and investing. If you go to Aba, Aba will headquarter of industry. Headquarter of factories. That is what we are pushing for. But because of our useless governors, because we have useless senators, that is why these people are discrediting Southeast. Let me show you what is happening. So they claim there is high rate of insecurity in the Southeast. Statistics shows Number of armed robbery cases in Nigeria by zone. Listen. Southwest, 107. North Central, 54. South South, 53. Southeast, 51. Northwest, 29. Northeast, 26. Percentage of kidnapping cases in Nigeria. High rate of where they have kidnapping cases. The zone that have kidnapping cases by zone. Northwest. 33.32%, North Central, 22.15%, North East, 18.99%, South South, 10.05%, 10 South East, 8.89%, and South West, 4.61% kidnapping cases. North West have the highest kidnapping case, the highest. When you come to armed robbery cases, Southwest have 107 in this place. Southeast, at least, uh, 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 Southwest have lower case of kidnapping cases because they have 4.61%. Southeast followed with 8.89%. So how is Southeast an insecurity zone? How is Southeast experiencing insecurity? If this is what is happening, not just that. Ask people that have gone to Southeast. This thing they are painting. Southeast, don't go there. If you go there, you will no longer come out alive. People are going to Southeast. Unfortunately, even Epis don't fly in Southeast. Go and book your flight. Say you want to go to Southeast. They will tell you that Southeast said they don't have plan. I'm um, sorry, uh, Epis rather. Epis will tell you they don't have plan. Green Africa Airline will tell you we don't have plan. All this thing is because they don't want Southeast to progress. They don't want Southeast to be moving forward. That is where we have billionaires. In Nigeria, the only place you can think of factories and industries, billionaires, trillionaires coming out every day in Southeast region. We also have in other regions. But you know that these people love business. So uh, every day they will be saying they are doing Monday sit at home. They, uh, they, they don't they allow them to work up us. They don't they allow them to work up us. If you really love Southeasterners, if you really claim that you are for the people and you are you claim you are a president, president where people will uh, buy rig, you know, whatever rubbish. If you claim you are president for the people, release the Nam the Kanu, release the Nam the Kanu. They said they want the Nam the Kanu to be released. That is why they are doing Monday sit at home. For peace to reign. I love everybody. Oh yeah, let us check. What are the things? What are the things? Let us check. Remove and put. Okay, this is what we want. This is what we want. Oh yeah, we want peace. We want peace in our region. And you said this people mean well for Nigeria. You claim this people mean well for Nigeria. They don't mean well for Nigeria. My people, Southeast is safe. If you have money, apart from that Naira is, is finished, then Naira don't have value again. 
and because of the harsh economy, the safest place to save, to save for whatever and invest in Nigeria as of today is southeastern part of Nigeria. Go and verify. Go and check for yourself. Insecurity, insecurity. People are running out of scatter. Now nah, lie, yo. Now nah, lie, yo. They want to that place. They want to finish southeast. They want to use propaganda. And all those, their wrong narrative and lies. To make southeast worse than Bronu. But it will not happen. Please preach this news. Preach it and tell people to go and invest in southeast. When investors enter southeast, things begin to happen. You will see how southeast will rejuvenate again. If you don't okay there, airpiece is not going to service. All the airline, well, we don't want to go there. Is is this security zone? Hey, boss, we don't want to go there. Who does that? Continue lying. Please, if you have money, go and invest there. If you like, go and invest where they will cut your head. They will, they will remove. They will dismember your head. They will be selling you in pass, and they sell cheap people cheap in that place. Some seventy thousand, twenty five thousand, one hundred. I was hearing they sell five thousand for one hand. That is how cheap. Even Lama is expensive more than human being in, the, in some part of Southwest. Go and invest in Southeast and thank me later. Go and invest in Southeast and thank me. Thank me. All I need is thank you, nothing else. So also thank you for telling you the truth. If you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly do that. And for my new subscribers, welcome. No. No, no. You are in the right place. And you are doing the right thing. Posterity will be kind to you. For pushing the truth. That is how God will push you. Climax you. Put you where you did not even expect you will be. You will go high. Let us continue telling them the truth they don't want to hear. Thank you guys for watching.